Girlfriend, you are rolling. <sighs> Hi, I am Asha Tremblay, and this is my why. I think, like many, our whys can shift and change through our life, and when I had to really hone in on what my why was for this 500 kilometers, it really did grow into something that was big. My why is life. My life and all of the lives that I get to interact with. I think there's so many things in this world that divide us. Age that divides us, and race that divides us, and gender, and religion, and politics, and so many things that divide us. I believe in the depths of my heart and soul that we are all meant to cohabitate and participate in life together. I lost my mom at 25 years old, and it shifted my life into a million different directions of trauma and grief and I lost my purpose. I, I went into depression. If you lose your parent at a young age, it can do that to us. But if we can see those hard moments and see the most beautiful gifts that come in those hard moments, because they're gonna happen. And when they happen to again come back to you, to us, to we, and know that in our life, no matter what we go through, the loss that we experience, the hurt that we know, we all have a purpose in our life. In my own life, I have walked through multiple addictions, abusive relationships, self-loathing, self-doubt, uh, many of those feelings I have felt entering into this 500 kilometer journey. Again, I come back to life. From the moment that I opened up my eyes the day that I was born until the moment that my eyes close and I go to my eternal rest, I have this pebble drop in a pond to make some magic happen, to make my life a legacy, to leave a stamp here so when I'm gone, I still have a footprint. Once I lost my mom, I went through <laughs> all of the emotions, the grief, the depression, the drug addictions, and through that I started to see the little signs, the little signs from the angels above, and they guided me. They ended up guiding me away from this place that I called home here in Kelowna, BC. I traveled to India, I got my yoga certification, and I remember one day on the beaches of Goa, I just watched the sunset and I knew that I was going to live in a third world country and I was going to teach yoga all by donation to help local kids. One year after I was yoga certified, I moved to Guatemala with my dog and I lived in a hostel with seven other people in a room and I taught yoga and all the money that I raised from the people that were traveling, they donated and we got to help children have a chance. I seen that from the trauma of losing my mom, I found my purpose. If I can inspire a couple other people just to know that whatever you are doing, wherever you're at in your life, you have so much magic to give. You can take on a feat of any size and you can save the world. You can save a life. I'm gonna lean into my strength, into the loss that I've had, and I want to be that one person that can show up and tell anybody, no matter where you're at, no matter what you've been through, that I love you, that you've got purpose, and you can change the world. We can change the world. <laughs> Enhance Humanity Uganda was formed in response to a growing number of youth living in abject poverty who believe there's no future for them. These youth have been taught to look to others to fix their problems. 
However, we believe the wealth of a nation is contained within an individual's gifts and talents, the natural resources of people. This is where we find a wealth of ideas and perspectives waiting to be unleashed. Rather than focusing on job training, we focus on inspiring and educating leaders who then create relevant businesses and take responsibility for their future. We help youth realize their potential and understand how the gifts and talents they have will enable them to flourish. Through our literacy classes,